Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, six years he traveled and that was Padayatra. And why, why, well, why the Acharyas were walking and traveling and why did Chaitanya Mahaprabhu travel? This was to spread the glories of the Lord, especially Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and our Gaudiya Vaishnavas have traveled to bring the holy name to more towns and more villages. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was the inaugurator of this program and Srila Prabhupada took it up. Srila Prabhupada himself in 1952, while he was in Zasi, he went on Padayatra, just short, not long one, but he did Padayatra himself, 30 kilometers from Chirgao to Zasi, no, Zasi to Chirgao, whatever now. In 74, this was shared with me, with me, with by uh, Tribhunath Prabhu. Uh, Tribhunath and Bhagavad Prabhu, they were, Prabhupada wanted to see them, and as they were yeah, going up there in Bombay, they were excited, what assignment is Prabhupada going to give us? And finally, when they were with Prabhupada, Prabhupada said, you go on Pada Yatra. You do Padayatra. But then that did not materialize. But Prabhupada was thinking and approaching his disciples, followers to take up this Padayatra program. Then in 76, Padayatra finally happened from Hyderabad to Mayapur. 1500 kilometers and Prabhupada was there to greet them, I understand. And then Prabhupada wrote a letter to Mahansa Swami who was in charge of the Hyderabad farm. Prabhupada wrote, Naturally Sankirtan men traveling with bullock carts are blissful. It is Chaitanya, Chaitanya's engagement. Lord Chaitanya personally traveled all over India for six years. His program was simply kirtan and prasad distribution. Lord Chaitanya never spoke philosophy in public. So continue this program. It is very pleasing to Lord Chaitanya. Dear Prabhupada's letter to your Swami, 1975. We heard this, Jasamati Nandan Prabhu shared this with, with me and he said, in 75 Prabhupada said to him, that please arrange bullock cart. He wanted to travel from village to village. And he would travel with Padhyatris. There was a gentleman called uh, Punjabi Paramanand and he had written to Prabhupada about taking up this Padhyatra program. And uh, Prabhupada responded to the communication of Punjabi Parmanan saying, Con Concerning your offering of doing Padhyatra traveling village to village, if young Indian men join me, I am immediately ready for this traveling touring from village to village, town to town. But take a note, Prabhupada is saying, I, I am immediately ready. Prabhupada is willing to join such walk himself. However, my foreign disciples have language defect, they can't speak village language, otherwise I would have started this program long ago. If some young men like you would join me, then along with some foreign disciples, I can immediately take up this program. If you are eager, please get hold of at least half dozen young men like you, then with another half dozen foreign disciples, I can immediately take up this program and tour village to village 
and town to town. This is very effective. I know that. This is Dilla Prabhupada is emphatically saying this. I think I'm, I'm sharing uh, uh, this is to so that we would know Prabhupada what was on mind of Prabhupada. There are so many things uh, on his mind, book distribution, this, that. Or certainly this was one of those items that was very much on his mind and very dear to his heart. I, I know that because I have interacted with Srila Prabhupada and had many talks and correspondence and I know how much appreciated he he appreciated the Padhyatra program. So I'm just trying to transfer these thoughts of this Prabhupada, Prabhupada's will, if you want to call that, unto you so that in future, I mean, soon we'll have this, there would be no more, I would be no more, but you will be here for much longer, so I just want to make sure you fully understand Prabhupada what was his thoughts about Padhyatras and of course you know why Padhyatra holy name is to be brought to more towns and more villages what do we distribute in ISKCON we distribute books of Prabhupada we distribute Prashadam Krishna Prashad and what else we do we distribute Harinam I think these are three big items and you could say festivals, this, that, but when it comes to distribute share, the holy name is on the top of the list and Prabhupada wanted to make sure the holy name spreads far and wide, not be limited only to the towns where there is Iskhan, Noida, Delhi, and what about every town, every village, so Prabhupada representing Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and uh, wanting to make Chaitanya's prediction come true. This was Prabhupada's strategy, this Padhyatra program. In 1976, this is where in Delhi I, I personally received this instruction of Padhyatra on Ra, Radhastami day when Iskan was in uh, Lashpat Nagar, 21 Hiroshima Gandhi Road, if you know that address. Uh, this is all the way back, 76. Prabhupada was attending Radhastami festival, Radha Parasarthi temple. And Radhastami Prabhupada said, You don't need to travel on the bus in India. Instead, you can get one bullock cart and go preach village to village all over India. It will be a great success. We were traveling in German buses of Hansadut Maharaj, GBC also that time. He had come with the Western buses and we were traveling all over night, North India. And we had a good time. We were enjoying the German buses. You know, they had a very special opening and closing doors. You push the button and a lot of people would just it gather around. It was a Marsari bus. Uh -huh. It was Mercedes. Mercedes, yes. White Mercedes. They would uh, gather around just to see how the door opens, door closes. and <laughs> so We were having a good time, but then Prabhupada said, Get down from the bus. Here's a bullock cart. So it was a big sacrifice, but we were happy. So uh, then we started. The first walk was from Vrindavan to Mayapur, Prabhupada gave us that destination. We received instruction in Delhi, we went to Vrindavan, we organized everything and Prabhupada said, you go to Mayapur. And on the way, we, we passed through Kanpur. I, I wrote to Srila Prabhupada, Prabhupada, need some financial help for Padhyatra, we need money, we need men. I wrote to Srila Prabhupada and this was Prabhupada's response. 
do not depend on outside help also for financial support do not depend on krishna sri prabhupada sent me a, a world sankirtan newsletter with the scores of different temples and he said he wrote also book distribution we are maintaining our huge establishment by selling books that is wanted so uh, so we took up book distribution very seriously on padyatra and i would like to report in you know, the scores of 9, 2015 2016 and 17 we distributed in 2015 96000 books of shila prabhu pad on padyatra 2016 97000 and 2017 over 100000 books were distributed and that made padyatra more than self sufficient uh, we are padyatra president here acharya prabhu for last 10 years he had been managing padyatra right here in front of you and they are saving funds by distributing books and they they took a pledge of 5 lakhs for tivo vp so, and they're sponsoring some other projects and <laughs> temples from book distribution on padyatra so besides chanting the holy name bringing into every town every village propas books are going to all remote corners of india and they have gone around india six time the sixth round like we do temple parikrama they have done bharat varsha parikrama Yeah then Prabhupad wrote to me again in 76 I'm also happy to hear your very nice activities I wish I could have joined you like this every time Prabhupad you wanted to join wanted to be part of this I I I like your program very much if you continue this program you will be benefited people will be benefited and everyone will be happy you know what more Prabhupad? hope I'll have to say to inspire us keep doing this program then in 77 as we had a very successful pulakar sankirtan party going in india this is what propad wrote to nithyanand our god brother in america new talwan farm community and he said an oxen can be used for driving carts and preaching village to village so was goshala managers uh, temples with goshala and having bullocks this is how god wanted to see that carts are used for preaching village to village what is the question of killing them and then he wrote here in india or loknath maharaj has successfully organized such a program and it is a great success he has traveled all over india everywhere they distribute books prashadam and perform kirtan village to village and then you could read that highlighted statement or here propad road we can introduce many millions of such carts all over the world this is propad's big thinking huh? propad never thought small so this is big thinking we had only one cart going around which he thought was very successful and then he's talking of millions of cars so this was not to be organized only by loknath swami or from this it is very clear propad wanted his followers <clears throat> his managers to take up this project of padyatra and spreading the holy name around then in 1991 gbcs formed a padyatra worldwide ministry and this is the mandate of a gbc mandate for padyatra worldwide to bring the congregational chanting of the holy name 
to every town and village of the world through organized Padyatra festivals. So, to execute the will of Srila Prabhupada, GDCs took that action and gave that mandate. So, Padyatra, we are on the road. You could do the calculation, that is how many? 34. All India Padyatra is on the road for past 34 years. And every day they go to new village, to new village, to the new village, to new village, and thousands. I was looking at uh, Acharya Prabhu is keeping record. He took over some nine, ten years ago, and he was showing me the record. Started in Pandarpur, in the ten kilometers down the road, this village, and he has whole record of all last ten years, ten years, Adhyatra visits and their phone numbers and some contact and they're becoming devotees as he goes back. He's our fifth president in like 34 years. We have four before. And so we have gone around non-stop. And then 1996 we organized his 100th birth anniversary of Srila Prabhupada. Everyone was thinking, well, he's his disciples, how to glorify, what to offer. Sri Prabhupada on his 100th birth anniversary, so Padhyatra ministry also were thinking. Pancharatna Prabhu was with us in plans for as a part of Centennial. So we took a pledge of organizing Padhyatra in 100 countries. And here's a list of all those countries. You can see, it. in fact, 105 countries we covered with Padhyatra. And I think to date, Padhyatra has walked 250,000 kilometers. And Padhyatris do not take one step forward without chanting of Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna every step they are chanting. So, you could imagine how many towns and villages holy name has at least reached. And sometimes I say, and this is true, that Padhyatra not only brings holy name to every town and every village, but in between the villages and in between the towns we chant not only in the town, in the village, but in between, from one town to another, one village to another. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's prediction, this is coming true. In 77, probably you know this very about wanting to go on luck car. It wasn't bed for months, he was not even able to get up and sit on his own, but yeah, then I also was in Vrindavan and uh, wanted to travel, and he said, how? No, no, bus will not be good, get me bullock cart. So, this is Prabhupada, kind of inconceivable Prabhupada. No? Yeah, then we have uh, Prajamandal Parikrama, Nodhya Mandal Parikrama. We, the Padhyatra became instrumental in starting those Parikramas. Sri Kshetra Parikrama, Puri Parikrama is very much there. Then Bhakti Purushada Maharaj took over. I, w I only go for inauguration, cutting the ribbon and going on for 10 years, more than 12 years, Sri Chetra Parikrama, Pandarpur Parikrama, and this Parikrama, and Punjab Line Parikrama is also going on. We have a manual, Padhyatra manual, how to organize from beginning to finish, all the details. 
in the mat when it's available. That's our website. Uh, yeah, this is a little, yeah, less you could say. It is less. <laughs> Padhyatra in Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, one, one Grahastha devotee, disciple of Bhakti Vikas Maharaj. He had been doing Padhyatra all over <laughs> Andhra, now it's, now it's Telangana, and Andhra also. Uh, since 19, uh, 2012, and he has also gone to, he has only a party of more, not more than half, half dozen, just four or five devotees so many villages so many books and every evening they organize festival just one one gentleman one grahastha he leaves his family wife behind and he goes a lot of time he's most of the time he's on the road 20 bullock cart for the others yeah 20 day bullock cart the bhubaneshwar yeah, from uh, Gaur Govind Maharaja's days, and then after his departure, his followers is gone. Bhubaneswar had been organizing Padhyatra every year. In in India, well, Pune, Pune to Pandarpur, this is his Khan Pune takes part in organizing this Padhyatra every year, 18 days, but a grand. 50 temple devotees or PDC, they join and they all have good time. Padhyatra is a nice retreat. Retreat, everyone, everyone likes Padhyatra. And like there's a whole list. And uh, upcoming Padhyatras, which is Iskan Kanpur, is on the list. Yes. Thank you. And Iskan Baroda and Tirupati is getting ready to have a Padhyatra that goes all around Andhra Pradesh. And uh, I did not go through the previous slide. There's a big list. There's many temples organized Padhyatra every year. Or there's one day Padhyatra concept is cropping up in, in Ahmedabad, in Gujarat. Three day Padhyatra, one week Padhyatra, or this con Noida devotees go from here to Vrindavan. So please take this up. So I, I, I AC, as I said in the beginning, has already resolved that uh, you all, and they resolve, <laughs> but the, you are the doers, the temple presidents are, you, you have to take this action to organize Padhyatra in your area and uh, you see Prabhupada's will or legacy that he has left behind in the form of Padhyatra and you have to push it forward. You are ready? Once more, once more, show of hands all those who wish to be part of this initiative. Very well.